Hey there, my name is Jennifer Dixon with Thrive Yoga and Wellness. Today I thought I would spend just a few short minutes talking about m one of my favorite upper body, shoulder, bicep, tricep, basically your upper back exercises, everything from the upper back through your arms. It's been really great at helping me to get those sometimes can be somewhat difficult transitions on arm balances. It's also integral when you're trying to move headstand to a, like a, a crow or anything like that. You have to have some good shoulder muscles and you have to have a lot of stability. So this is my favorite, uh, I'll give you a couple of my favorite exercises to help build muscles here in your shoulders. All of this area right here, which is responsible for keeping us strong and steady while we're on our hands. So if you'll join me, we're gonna get started in downward facing dog. Your hands are gonna be about shoulders with this shoulders width distance apart your heels may or may not be on the mat that's totally okay now most important thing that you want to think about here is belly stays in right so exercise number one you can do down dog push-ups this is kind of the only time where elbows go out in yoga right so let's go ahead and shoot for eight of them with the elbows out wide keep the belly in you can look forward if you want but I kind of like to look down there's five it's a little easier on the neck. Six, seven, and eight. Remember that belly stays in. Now another super fun one to try to do, and you can do it one arm at a time. You're going to bring left arm down, right forearm down, right forearm up, left forearm down. Now we're going to do left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Let's do that on the other side. Right forearm down, left forearm down, left forearm up, right forearm up, right, left, left, right. Now if you've got some juice, go both up, both down. This is going straight down and back from the wrist. You'll really feel this in the triceps. Also build some mobility and strengthen the shoulders. We've, this is five. Let's go for three more. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Now, if you can do a couple of sets of those, three, four sets of those, you should feel it a whole bunch in the shoulders and the triceps. Now, here's my, mm, I guess, final-ish upper body exercise just for today. I call them down, um, actually, dolphin push-ups. So you're going to get into your dolphin pose or basically prepping for pinchamayurasana. You want to try to have your shoulders and el elbow shoulders with distance apart. Hanging out right here in your dolphin actually does create some strengthening and strength in the shoulders and in the abs, especially if you keep the belly up. Now, what you can work on is staying right here and building strength, or you can do some push-ups. Nose, nose going towards the thumb, pushing back. That's three, four, keep the belly in, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, suppose these are getting sort of easy for you, but you still haven't gotten the the strength yet to hold your whole body up. Here's where you can work that. You're going to come back to your dolphin. You're going to walk your toes up. The closer your toes are, the more weight that's in your shoulders. Maybe shimmy the grounded foot. In this case, it'll be my right towards the center line a little bit more. Pick the left foot up so that's even more weight onto the shoulders and then do your dolphin push up. So you can see how this builds a little more strength because it's a little more weight onto the upper body. There's six. I'm just doing two more. Seven and eight. Let me do the other side because I don't want to be crooked. Left foot plants. Right foot goes up. Remember that belly in. And let's go for eight. Seven. Six. Belly stays in. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Awesome. Now, again, the more you do these, the stronger you'll get. Rem remember to keep your belly in. It's going to want to, like, collapse out. We don't want that to happen. Keep your belly in and work your edge. So if your edge is hanging out there in dolphin pose and waiting for the strength to come, it will come. Don't rush it. Or maybe you can do 10 or maybe even 12, and then you break those up into sets. I like to do at least two, sometimes three sets, and then I incorporate other kinds of strength building exercises to just keep this whole upper body a little stronger. What are your favorite exercises? Let me know in the comments below. And if you love what you see, be sure that you like and subscribe to our IGTV and YouTube channel. This is, again, Jennifer Dixon with Thrive Yoga and Wellness. I can't wait to see you on your mat.